Okay, here's a quick uh, tutorial on how to use APIs. An API is nothing more than a remote piece of code that you, uh, someone else has written that you want to have access to. And there's a lot of fun pieces of code that people have written that can enhance your projects and your websites. Uh, this is just a very, very minimal example. Uh, essentially, um, you would research the API, and here is a Weather Underground one. And what this API request wants is it wants a key, which I have registered for, and then this particular one, um, I am just sending it a zip code, and it is returning a bunch of data, and I can do anything I want with that data. I can pull out neighborhood uh, information, I can pull out current observations, maybe a link to an image of some sort. I can do anything I want with this data that's coming back. So what I've done is back here, I can go get the contents. Uh, that would go grab that particular URL. I would decode it into a JSON string. And a JSON string is nothing more than, uh, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. But it, it brings it back in a format that we can readily uh, use and parse. <coughs> Excuse me. In this particular instance, uh, it's returning it in an object format. And so now I can just say parse JSON, go to the location, and then the city. So if I were to just uh, look at that over here, I say parse JSON, it goes to sub location right there. Then it goes to sub city and I would print that out. Now over here, if I wanted to print out the temperature, I could go to current observation and temp F. So we look down here, left hand side, current observation, looks like right there. And then temp F would be right here. So that would return the current temperature to me. So if I were to uh, look at that in a browser, um, API 1.php, it takes a second to load, but it uh, does pull that information. Now, uh, I've written, uh, let's see here if I can find it. Uh, let's look at API 2. In this case, uh, I am dynamically um, asking uh, via form, I'm asking uh, what the zip code is they want to actually look up. So here's API 2 again. So all I'm doing is asking them to enter a zip. We're using some AJAX that we looked at a little bit earlier to send <clears throat> the form data over to this Weather Underground API AJAX form. And then I'm displaying the response in an answer div. But as I look back here, what this is doing, it's once again, I have my key, I'm grabbing the values via AJAX, that post method, putting the key in, putting the zip in that I want to look up, and then doing the exact same thing that I did just a second ago. So maybe I'll do 42301 or something. And I hit clicking, takes a second, and it tells us the temperature, 12345. <clears throat> Click, and it gives it the temperature. So that can add some functionality to your sites. Uh, my next tutorial is going to uh, take another look at another API.